Hi, if you're looking for a test to measure the reliability of your survey questionnaire, then this video is for you. So let's talk about reliability tests using Cronbox Alpha. This is the measure of internal consistency. Cronbox Alpha tests to see if multiple question Likert scale surveys are reliable. It will tell you if the test you have designed is actually measuring the variable of interest. So this will be our formula. Alpha is equal to the product of these two quantity. This is k over k minus 1 multiplied to the quantity 1 minus the quotient of the summation of the variance sub y and variance sub x. Where k is the number of the test item, summation of variance y is the sum of the item variance and Variance sub x is the variance of the total score. For interpreting the result, it will only range from 0 to 1. So what we are aftering is the value 0.7 and above to be considered acceptable, good, and excellent. While below 0.7 would be questionable, poor, and unacceptable. So let's proceed to the example. In this example, we have a respondents of 15 and question items with 5-point Likert scale of 20. So as you can see, the response of each respondent from each item were recorded. So our columns would be our questions or test items, and our rows will be our respondents. We start by getting the variance of each of the answers of the respondents for question number one. So in our Excel formula, this will be equals var dot p, open parenthesis, and we highlight this set of data consisting of the 15 responses for question number one. Press enter, and we have a value of 0 0.092. We simply apply or copy the formula for the remaining items up to question number 20. There you go. You also take the total value of the result per respondents. So this will be equals SUM, open parenthesis, and we highlight all the answers of respondent number one. That's from question number one to question number 20. So as you can see on our formula, that's from column C up to column V. Press enter, and we now apply the same formula or simply drag the formula up to respondent number 15. And below this total, we also take the variance, that's equals var dot p, open parenthesis, of the total score of the respondents. Press enter, that is 83.32. We are now ready to start applying the formula. So in our solution, we'll be needing the value for k. This will be the number of items. And in our example, 20 is the total number of items. We proceed to the sum of the item variance, that's the variance of question 1 up to question 20. So that would be equals SUM open parenthesis. And we now highlight all the item variance from question number 1 up to question number 20. Press enter. And we have a sum of the item variance 25.17. This next variable is the variance of the total score. This is equals to this value 83.32. And finally, we now apply the formula. So this is equals to, we have two quantities. So this quantity multiplied to another quantity. So the first quantity would be k divided by k minus 1. This is a binomial. So we place it in another parenthesis. So that would be k minus 1. We proceed to the next parenthesis. So this is equals 1 minus the summation of variance sub y. That is 25.17 divided by variance sub x, that is 83.32. We are now complete with our inputs, press enter, and we have a value of 0.73458. We can round this off to two decimal place, and that would be 0.73. On our interpretation, we check the interval where 0.73 belongs, and as you can see, 0.73 is in the range 0 0.7 to 0.79, and our internal consistency is acceptable. So in our solution, we simply type acceptable. So going back to our sample, this 20 questions with 5-point Likert scale has passed the reliability using Cronbach's alpha measure of 
internal consistency. So once again, this is a reliability test for multiple question Likert scale survey questionnaires, Cronbach's Alpha. Thank you for watching.